I'm going to talk for, for the next 50 minutes or so on characterizing monoclonal antibodies. So I'm going to take um, a walk through the various guidelines. I'm going to refer back to some of the things that uh, Fiona talked about and some of the things that Inigo mentioned about uh, regulations. But why do we need to characterize proteins? If we know the DNA sequence, we know what it's going to translate. Why is that not enough? Well, basically, product characterization is essential for product development and regulatory acceptance. It's the basis of all knowledge, understanding of the product, and it's very important in understanding the structure, function, relationship between your product and its efficacy. Understanding the product structure is key to all aspects of product and process development. If you're producing a product that isn't working, isn't showing the right uh, amount of activity in biological assays, then you can feed back structural information to find out what might be going wrong. Fortunately for us, there, there is a guideline. It's been mentioned a few times today already. It's the ICH topic Q6B. ICH is the International Conference on Harmonization. So the FDA, the European Medicines Agency, the Japanese FDA, which are the main tier one regulators, got together and said, these are the specifications and the things you should think about if you're trying to characterize a biological product. And the appendix gives us the best summary. There is a set of structural characterization analyses that are required. And these are the more high level analyses, things like peptide mapping, uh, using LCMS, but also looking at disulfide bridge structure. And if you have a glycoprotein, the carbohydrates that are present on your glycoprotein. That is accompanied by a list of physical chemical requirements. Inigo mentioned the spectroscopic profiling uh, a short while ago. But that also includes things like determining the overall molecular weight, the isoform pattern, extinction coefficient, which really relates to how much product you have and various other things. Now, we run three-day training courses on what you need to do to satisfy these requirements. So obviously, I only have an hour and five minutes, or probably an hour and one minute now. But um, I'm going to pick out some of the hot topics within these and tell you about what the regulators are asking for these days and things that have changed. And also in an analytical sense, the things we now use that give us data that maybe five, six, seven years ago we couldn't manage.